It's James here from the Xire team, and I want to show you this very cool feature in Xire Photo 2025 that many folks actually don't know about. So it's hidden in the background, but it can be a powerful way to analyze your own photography habits, to figure out what works best for you when shooting, really what gear to buy, what gear you might want to sell so you can finance new gear purchases, and so on. What I'm talking about here is Xire Analytics, which you can access up here in the main menu under analytics. Now, if you go ahead and click here, open analytics for current view, I'm going to get an analytics session that's based on the images that I had selected in Xire Photo, that is the current view. So what you see here might seem strange or complex, but it's actually pretty simple once you learn your way around. Basically, this analytics module lets you analyze and compare different attributes from your photos. So here, under attributes, you can choose the elements that you want to analyze. So you could analyze the selected set of photos by the lens model, for instance. These images were taken by a friend of Xire's, Sam, who we work with, and it's an engagement session. And clearly, most of the photos were taken with this Nicker 24 to 120 millimeter lens, but some of them were also taken with a Nicker 105 millimeter lens. And you can use this to say, which lenses do I use most frequently? Which lenses do I not use very much? If I were to analyze an entire set, an entire collection of images that I'd taken over, say, a year, I could say, which lenses am I just not really using? And if it turns out I don't frequently use, say, my telephoto zoom lens, then maybe I would decide to sell it, use the money to purchase equipment that I do use more regularly. It can also be useful to look at, say, the focal length that you, that you used for a shoot or across a time span. Here I'm going to look. I can, I can group focal lengths if I want to, but I'm actually going to look the whole thing. Now, this was shot primarily with a zoom lens, as we saw, that 24 to 120 millimeter lens. So there are a lot of different focal lengths here. But you can clearly see that the 24 millimeter focal length, and we've got in this 50 millimeter area, and then the 110 millimeter focal length were used more than all the rest. So maybe you would use that information to justify the purchase of, say, a wide-angle prime lens to give even better quality on that wide end. There's just a lot you can play around with here. You can choose to filter. You can filter by date. You can filter um, by, by rating labels and flags or keywords if you wanted to. So, for instance, say that you wanted to see the focal lengths that you tend to use on your best photos. You might choose the five star rating, filter by that, and then look for focal length based on that. I also want to mention that you can visualize the data differently. Here we're looking at um, like a bar chart, but I can come up here to chart and I can change this. Maybe I want to see a pie graph instead. It can just help me visualize things differently. Um, and, and I can even, by choosing certain uh, methods for displaying the data, I can look at rather than two dimensions of data, I can actually look at three. So for instance, if I choose heat map, then I can say that I want to look at, for instance, the focal length that I tend to use along with, say, the F number. If I look here, I can see 24 millimeters this was often used at f4. Um, if we look here, 52 millimeters was very frequently used at f4.5. And basically, I can just go through and get a sense of all of these patterns that are appearing throughout the files that are in my collection that I might not be able to see otherwise. Now, one final note is that it's important to pay attention to the current set of photos you have selected when you open the analytics module. So if I close this out here, if I were to have selected a different set of images, then I'd get completely different results. Or I could choose 
to look at all of my photos by just selecting this All Photos option in the upper left-hand corner. Well, hopefully you now feel ready to head into XIR and test out the Analytics module. See if you can identify some patterns in your shooting and use that to make informed decisions moving forward. Thanks so much for watching.